Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving y'all a tour of a micro apartment that I'm currently staying at in Osaka, Japan. It is absolutely tiny, but the location it's in is extremely convenient, and I'm only staying there for $43 a night. So I mean like, hey, I really can't beat it kind of thing. There is a grocery store right over there. The local train station is right over there. Dantambori is right over there. Kuroman Market is right over there. It is in an extremely, extremely, extremely convenient location, and that is why the price is totally worth it. There will probably not be much um, substance to this video just simply because the apartment is so small. It truly is a micro apartment let me tell y'all what and it's not even really like a trendy micro apartment either it's 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 a little bit antiquated i will admit but nonetheless i certainly am very excited to well give you guys a full tour of the micro apartment that i'm currently staying at in osaka japan without further ado though let's go ahead and walk inside this is the street it's on though and this is the front of the building liberty palace you know i'm saying liberty palace i will admit the front of the building a little bit cheesy just a little bit cheesy kind of thing, but but that's okay. Let's see if I can remember the password to get in. I always have to pull it up on my phone. I don't know. Let's see. <gasps> I actually remembered it. I was so convinced that I was going to get it wrong, but I actually remembered it. Well, this is what the inside hallway looks like to the elevator. I am currently staying on the ninth floor, so I need to go up to, well, the ninth floor, you know what I'm saying? And there are some pretty amusing signs in, in the elevator, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'll have to show them to y'all once we actually get in the elevator on the short ride up, because the elevator is pretty fast, I ain't gonna lie. And here we go. Alrighty, so here's the elevator. I'm just gonna go ahead and close the door and press my number and everything like that so we can see it says no, no, no pissing. We have you on camera and we will report you to the police. That's, that's, the, there's no camera. <laughs> somebody ripped down the camera. No smoking, no smoking, but somebody ripped down the camera so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah, this place, it ain't the glassiest. It ain't the glassiest, I ain't gonna lie, I'll but for 43 bucks a night in a really convenient location, you can't beat it, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat it. Let's go ahead and walk over to the Airbnb I'm staying at though. But this is the view from the front door of the Airbnb. This is the one I'm staying at. I'm staying at 905, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, but the view you get from this side honestly is pretty dang good if I do say so myself. It really is pretty dang good. We can see uh, Don Tom Bar well, we actually really can't see it, but Don Tom Bar is over there. Kermon Market is like somewhere over there kind of thing. And the local train station is like way over there kind of thing. It's not that far, but it is It is also kind of far. It's a couple blocks, but the blocks here are kind of small, I will admit. But, but that's the view, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a pretty good view if I do say so myself. I love coming out here and just taking a look at the view in the morning. Certainly no complaints might be had. Now let's go ahead and get inside the Airbnb though. Unlike a lot of the Airbnbs, Airbnbs I've stayed at, this one actually doesn't need to have a real lock. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be showing you all the key because I have a big enough brain to know that I should not show keys on the internet. It's not like they're particularly hard to copy or anything like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and shove that back in my pocket. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door and go ahead and give you all the first look of the micro apartment that I'm currently staying at after I wipe my nose. Man, my nose is a little bit runny today. I don't know why, weird. But let's go ahead and open the door. And this is the apartment. The door doesn't want to close on its own, so you kind of have to do that. And then put the hotel lock on as well. I'm going to go ahead and take off my shoes. And I'm just going to go ahead and first off, just take a look at this. Uh, not really anything too interesting. Nothing too interesting. Okay, yeah, let's not take a look at this anymore. Uh, this is the room. And this is all there is to it. <laughs> there's, 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 there's not much to it. There's a balcony right over there. I'm going to go and put my hat on the bed right there. Um, there's the bathroom right here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start because um, it's it's just a room. There's 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 really there's really not much to it. it it's it's just it's just a room. 
Uh, I think I'll start off with the bathroom. Bathroom's always a good place to start off with. Uh, so we have the bathroom right here. Of course, we've got bathroom fan, bathroom light, all of that sort of stuff. And then this is to control the main light. Um, but taking a look at the bathroom, uh, we can see uh, no shower curtain. I've been using these to hang up my towel, uh, to let it dry and everything like that kind of thing. And um, there's the bathtub, kind of small. This, kind of small. It, it's all kind of small in all honesty, the toilet kind of small. Um, I do have to take out the toilet paper when I take a shower because there's no shower curtain. So all of the water that like kind of like, I guess sprinkles and everything like that kind of thing gets all over the toilet paper and makes it wet. I, I made that mistake. That was a huge mistake. I regret doing that. Thankfully the toilet paper had mostly dried by the next day, but still a massive mistake nonetheless. And um, yeah, this this place, this 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 bathroom is, is absolutely tiny, I'm gonna lie. It really is absolutely tiny and very echoey if I do say so myself as well. Very echoey if I do say so myself. I think my main complaint with the bathroom isn't even how small it is though. It's that um, the water on the floor doesn't really go away at all. It just kind of stays there even when the door is closed and the fan is on it just never goes away. Um, so when I'm trying to take a shit in the morning, my socks, if I'm not, if I'm not careful, sometimes get wet which is a little bit of complaint to my behalf. On a more positive note, this Airbnb came with body wash, conditioner, and shampoo, and toothbrushes. I brought my own toothbrush though, so I'm not worried about it because my toothbrush is right there, along with hand soap as well. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to the bathroom, in all honesty, that's pretty much all there is to the bathroom. There's, there's really not much of it, and I can now see myself in the camera with my phone. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty funny, that's pretty funny, ha <laughs> ha. Pretty amusing stuff, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Pretty amusing stuff. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to, to the bathroom in all honesty. There's really not much to it. It's a it's a it's a it's a shower bathroom. I like it because of that. I, I really like that you can hose down everything. Um, but I would like it if the toilet was separate. I, I would like that, I will admit. Uh, moving on to the rest of uh, the apartment. What 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 else do I want to talk about. Um, I think I'll go ahead and cover the kitchen area. Actually, I'll just go ahead and move along this wall. So we have the trash can right here. I just took out the trash before this video. Then we have a mirror right here. How's it going? How's it going, y'all? How's it, how's it going? Uh, we have three alcohol cans right here uh, because I've, I've been drinking a little bit and I didn't bother to throw these away before the video. I did, I did make them a little bit neater though. Uh, we got my pile of one yen and five yen coins that I have yet to use. And then we've got... Um, apartment rules that are in Japanese that I, I can't read. So, um, yeah, I haven't been abiding by any of them because I can't, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, they do have an English translation of this online. I have been abiding by it. That was a joke. Got some smelly, smelly sticks right there. And then inside the cabinet, there's, uh, my laundry detergent, some stuff over there and, um, toilet paper. And moving on to the kitchen, we can see it is absolutely tiny. Uh, just get some cabinets up here. Light you can turn on, light you can turn off, or light you can turn off, light you can turn on. There we go. A little bit of a fan over there as well for the kitchen and uh all of your normal kitchen utensils and stuff it's it's a kitchen oh i'm out of breath i'm out of breath i ain't gonna lie y'all very tiny sink right here it's it's super tiny this is actually one of the smallest sinks i've ever used besides a bathroom sink um so this place does have gas and so the gas uh works um, so I tried using the gas before I before I tried setting this up as well because the, the, the Airbnb came with this induction cooktop. Um, and I took this off and I was like, I'll just use the gas instead. I prefer using gas and everything like that. And I was like, I'll just see if the gas works. So the gas came out, it's lit. And then the moment you let go of this little knob right here, it dies. And I was like, okay, so the gas doesn't work kind of thing. So I'm using the induction cooktop, but this is a great induction cooktop. I ain't gonna lie, it really is fantastic. I love this cooktop. I really want one of these for the U.S., honestly. This thing is fantastic. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the kitchen, though. There's there's really <laughs> not much to it. Uh, under here, ah, you can see there's a knife and just some other stuff, some snacks I've got shoved down there because they're really smelly because I bought them and I didn't expect them to smell that much like shrimp, but holy shit, they smell a lot like shrimp, I ain't gonna lie. And I think I can smell them now already. They smell a lot like shrimp. We've just got the TV remote shoved down here and the hair dryer. There's, I'm just using this as storage right now and everything like that and extra tissues as well. Uh, then we get to, to the hot water, uh, to, to, the, to, the, to the kettle, I guess. Is that the right word for it? Kettle? 
This the, we got the kettle right here. We got a microwave right here. Both of these work pretty well. And the refrigerator right here. The refrigerator is definitely not the biggest, but it's big enough to hold what I need. Uh, I, I have very little in it right now because I need to go grocery shopping. Uh, moving on to the TV area, I do suppose. Um, we can see the TVs on the floor. Uh, now, the TV was not originally on the floor when I came into the Airbnb. But there's nowhere to eat in this Airbnb. There's no chairs. There's nowhere to eat. The only table in this entire Airbnb is this right here. Unless you count like this, the, the, the tops of these cabinets as tables, which I don't. This is the only table there is to eat at in this entire room, and it was holding the TV. And with the TV on it, there was not enough room for a plate of food and the TV. So I, I took the TV down. I've been using this as my computer desk and as my eat breakfast, eat dinner desk and everything like that kind of thing. And I've got all of my electronics plugged in right here and everything like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the TV back on here before I leave. But yeah, this is where I've been eating everything. And, and um, yeah, and I've had to move the bed over. Uh, that's, I think, the next thing I want to talk about. I've had to move the bed over quite a bit. Like, when I came into the Airbnb, the bed was, I want to say, right about here where my hand is. And it's definitely not there anymore because I've moved it over probably about a solid foot and a half because otherwise I literally would not be able to use this kitchen at all. It's just this bed is too damn big for this Airbnb. It really is too big for this apartment. I mean, like, and it makes sense. This is, this is what, a... a a queen size bed or something like that kind of thing. This, this, this apartment realistically is only supposed to hold one person kind of thing, but the Airbnb is meant to be able to hold two people. So they need a bed that can hold two people kind of thing. And uh, I think my biggest complaint with this Airbnb really is the size of the bed. And honestly, if I was, let's say renting this apartment as an actual apartment, not as an Airbnb where I had to supply my own furnishings and everything like that, I would not even put a mattress on the floor. I would literally just get a futon and fold up the futon every single day because with the mattress on the floor, there is no room at all, no room to do anything at all. And it is honestly so annoying. Like I'm, I'm, this is how I get around the room. My socks are clean. That's how I get around the room because otherwise I got to walk all the way around that way. But if I had a futon, I could just fold it up every single day. And then I just got open space right here instead of a mattress. And that really is my biggest complaint with this Airbnb. I mean, like, it's not even that it's so small. It's just that um, the space isn't used efficiently. That is my main complaint with it. I don't mind small spaces. I don't like inefficient spaces. You could have all the space in the world, and if you use it inefficiently, it's going to feel like it's tiny. And this mattress right here makes this room feel so much smaller than it actually is. I think the last thing I'm going to cover is the balcony and the view, because um, let me tell you all what, it is a fantastic view. But first off, let's go ahead and just cover this little uh, nook right here, this little closet right here. I have my backpack right there and everything like that all ready to go, because I'm going to be heading out after this video to go, I think, go to the top of a skyscraper or something like that. Uh, we can see I've got some, I've got my, like, the dirty laundry up there, then some clean laundry over here. I've got some of my clothes hung up and everything like that kind of thing. Got my pants right there, toiletries right there, a little tote bag, custom, custom tote bag that says Joe Mama on it right here. And then I've got all of my other gear right here and everything like that. Some dirty clothes for myself down there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this little cubby right here and everything like that. Really not much to it. I do think that this Airbnb was originally meant to um, be used with a futon if I had to guess because this shelf right here is something you would not normally see in like American stuff and i think this is like either you're meant to put your futon like under this or on it and i'm not sure but this little separator right here is definitely something you would not normally see in american closets so i feel like this is definitely meant to hold a futon or the futon is meant to go under or something like that kind of thing 100 uh, percent excuse me and de there's definitely also meant to be a door right here but there is no door right here anymore but yeah that's pretty much all there is to that. And uh, frankly put, that's pretty much all there is to the Airbnb. Uh, I think I've talked about everything. As I said, my biggest complaint with this Airbnb really is, oh yeah, there's the AC right there. And I have my controller right here. Love having like a little controller for the AC. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Um, but as said, pretty much my biggest complaint with this Airbnb is just how inefficiently, you know, my biggest complaint with this apartment um, really is just how inefficiently the space is being used with this uh, mattress right here. But I do see why for an Airbnb, they went for a mattress instead of a futon because they don't have to actually clean the mattress after every single time 
somebody stays here, they only have to change the sheets, and a mattress is probably going to be more to Westerners' preferences and everything like that kind of thing. It makes sense, it makes sense. And I say I'd prefer a futon, but I've also never really actually slept on a futon on the straight floor before, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I do think, though, the final thing I need to show y'all, because that, that's that's really all there is to it. There's, there's really not much to this Airbnb. The final thing I need to show y'all is, as said, the amazing view. Let me just go ahead and real quick get the blinds all opened up, and uh, let, let me go ahead and turn the camera around so y'all can see the beautiful view. Yeah, it's to another building. This is this view is amazing. It's, it's a it's an amazing view. Let's just go ahead and open up the door real quick. Oh, and just step outside, just like that, and we can see. Oh yeah, the view is uh, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic view as we can see y'all. Absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah. No, this this view is this view is oof, mint. Mint. One of my favorite views I've ever had from anywhere I've ever stayed. Uh, other than that though. The balcony actually is kind of nice. You can put a chair out here, kind of just chill and everything like that. You got your AC right here, a little area to dry your laundry and everything like that kind of thing. Whatever this is, is here too. Um, it's a nice little balcony. Not really much to say about it in all honesty. There's no lighting outside, I think. No, there's no lights outside. It would be even nicer if there were lights outside, but there there are no lights outside. Now that I'm actually noticing, I, I actually didn't look for that uh, beforehand. Wait a minute. There's just tape. This is tape that looks like Bart Simpson. Why does this tape look like Bart Simpson? I don't know why, but that tape looks like Bart Simpson to me. I just I just noticed that tape and it looks like Bart Simpson and I don't know why. Kind of looks like Bart Simpson, weird. But that is pretty much uh, the, the the entire uh, tour. There's, there's really nothing else to it. Um, it's a micro apartment. Uh, there's really not much to say. It's really small. It's basically just a place to crash. And um, that's that's pretty much all it is. It's just a place to crash. And it works for that. It really does work for that. Um, but, you know, as I said, there's really not much to it. There really is not much to this apartment at all. Um, but it's a micro apartment. So that is kind of to be expected, I do suppose. Uh, would I stay in another micro apartment again? I, I wouldn't mind, in all honesty. I wouldn't mind, in all honesty. But I would want to stay at a micro apartment that maybe use the space a little bit more efficiently. So I could, like, let's say maybe put this away when I'm not using it so I could have more space to eat and use my computer and organize my stuff and, and, and all of that sort of stuff. That would be really nice. Uh, I, but I, I really wouldn't mind staying in another micro apartment again. Living in a, a small space for a short amount of time does not bother me. I, I'm, it doesn't really bother me. In this small, this room, let me get my wardrobe jumbled up. This room is not small enough to be claustrophobic or by any means or anything like that kind of thing. But it's just the space being used inefficiently that really bothers me. But you know, I wouldn't mind staying in another micro apartment again. Would I stay at this one again? Um, I actually forgot to mention one thing. Uh, the Wi-Fi here is sucks. The Wi-Fi here sucks. I can't even get my computer to load web pages. It's that bad. Um, so for that singular reason, I would not stay at this Airbnb again. No way. But... If they could improve the Wi-Fi, I'd consider it. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my tour of a Japanese micro apartment in Osaka, Japan, as you guys might expect. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.